hey everyone how is going welcome back my name is Bukhari and in this in this video I'm going to show you how to create a holy grail a grid layout pattern using CSS technology called flexbox so it is going to be a three column grid layout pattern which is called holy grail grid layout pattern okay so let's get started so this is my code editor let's inject some HTML structure all right we just did let's bring the preview window in here let's bump up the font all right let's first give the page title so flexbox grid layout pattern 3 this time let's save the file in the same folder all right so flex box read layout pattern 3 flex box grid layout pattern 3 all right moving on okay so let's uh, grab this text copy this let's bring some comment block in here right okay so then quickly also we can have a subtitle in here so um, three columns three columns or a column whatever three columns flexbox grid layout pattern grid layout right we'll keep it there let's set the file one more time also we will be calling it we'll be giving it another um, title so uh, flexbox holy grail grid layout pattern yeah let's set that one more time so flexbox holy grail grid layout pattern all right so flexbox it is so let's get a start with the coding so we're gonna have a flexbox grid engine first selector is going to be the pro which is the parent of the child right so display um, flex right and then flex flow is going to be column and wrap just like that and after that we're gonna have a, a child selector called call and the property is flex and value is one all right and then margin as you are getting used to it right so 6.6 em all right then the padding 0.6 em and then the color is quickly triple five so white color so also i'm gonna have a background color i'm gonna quickly grab the color i want and there it is let's save the file one more time so this is our grid engine as you have seen previously so I'm not gonna talk too much so um, that's that right so let's um, have some HTML struct goodies in there so first what we are going to have we're going to have a wrapper tag in there and within the wrapper tag we're gonna have all of our tags first the header tag so header and within the header we're gonna have the row and then within the row we're gonna have our column right and right header okay that's that that's the header so just from the header we're gonna have our main tag so within the main tag we have our row tag right and within the row tag we have our column tag and we're gonna write some text in there first we're gonna have a nav column right and I'm gonna copy this paste it twice and in the middle one we're gonna call it main and the last one we're gonna call it aside all right so in the within the main tag we, we have three columns right and just after that just after the main tag we're gonna have a footer tag and within here we're gonna have a row and within the row we're gonna have a column we're gonna write footer okay let's set the file so that's what we want in our HTML body okay so basically by default it will be stacking on top of each other because we put a flex flow column and wrap all right 
flex flow column column means stack on top of each other all right so this is exactly what we want when we are in the mobile view size and when we are in the tablet view size we have different layout and when 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 we are in the desktop view size we have a different grid layout pattern right so let's get started with those coding right so we're gonna add a media query so um media cr wn screen and then the min height min width so so media screen and brackets min width so the mean width is going to be 460 pixels that means that from maximum to 640 pixels we want to have different uh, kind of layout pattern so in the curly brackets we're gonna have we're gonna select the row first and we're also going to give the um uh, change the flex flow property and value right so it is going to be row and then wrap okay that's cool okay it's the file so we see that our uh, grid layout pattern has changed in two levels so we want to customize it further and we want we will also want to have three another levels of customization in the grid layout pattern okay moving on so just after that in the media queries we're gonna target this main okay so main and then the column within the main right and we're gonna write nth child so that we can target the column within the main specifically okay so we're gonna target the main um this column first one so the first column within the main right so column one that's the first column okay so what we want so um from maximum to 600 pixels we want our first column to um stay on top right so we're gonna add a property called flex one grow one and flex base is 100 percent and that way it's gonna be taking full width of this whole column and row right beautiful okay so that's exactly what we wanted and just after that we're gonna target the main and then the column and the nth child that means we're gonna we're gonna target another column within the main so we're gonna target the main um, second column within the main tag right so we're gonna target this second column because we want to manipulate these right um, so we targeted the nth child two that means the second column and we're gonna put give it a uh, flex property and value right so um, flex uh, and then the we're gonna add the value like two okay and there in that way we're gonna have um, larger main width and less aside width right so we want I wanted to grow this um, I, I could put three it would take more space in there like so you, you get the idea right so I'm gonna put 2.5 around 2.5 yeah like so or I could put like two only okay okay so we have level one grid layout pattern level two grid layout pattern and we just did it right okay so level two is complete let's save the file one more time and we need we only need to add another media query for the last text of view right so for that let's write it at media screen and then the brackets so mean width is around 960 pixels and then curly brackets so what we want so what we are saying here from maximum to minimum 960 pixels we want to have different kind of grid layout pattern so so I'm going to target the uh, main 
I'm going to target the main uh, first column of the main tag right so the nav one so main tag first column right so I'm gonna manipulate these ones okay I'm going to manipulate this one okay right so main dot call and child and the first column I want to give it a flex one that's it and let's go there and there we go so flex one by when we are in the from maximum to 906 pixels we have these um, three columns right this is called um, holy grail grid layout pattern flex box grid layout pattern right so two columns both side of the main column right beautiful so our grid engine is complete ready so we have mobile grid layout pattern like this then the tablet grid layout pattern like that okay and then when we are in the desktop we have this three column grid layout pattern beautiful can you imagine how easy and quick and powerful it is with only this much code unbelievable okay so that's that so i want to take it further like the um like putting the uh, footer at the bottom right so let's do that just after the media query so let's target the wrapper is it right wrapper so the wrapper will have some property and value first one is display flex uh, flex flow come on no more floats flex flow uh, column and wrap and just over that uh, mean height 100 people height it is required for making the footer sticky at the bottom and just after that we're going to target the uh, main tag and just give flex one and that's it beautiful let's add some content in there so that we can have a logical understanding let's save the file one more time so we have our beautiful um, three column grid layout pattern it is called holy grail grid layout pattern okay so when we are in the desktop view we have this view right nav column then the main column with the contents and a side column and then when we are in the tablet we have our main uh, navigation area on the top right and then the just after that we have our main content and the aside as well and we are uh, when we are in the mobile we have this stacking to on top of each other grid layout pattern and that's that how beautiful it is how cool it is how easy it is how powerful it is it is so rock solid beautiful highly customizable flexbox it is so guys you can see the power of flexbox so there it is i hope you are highly benefited from this tutorial if you are please give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and do write to me and also i will also appreciate very much if you do subscribe to my channel and do please share with share the video with the world because you'll never know who you will help and inspire so sharing is very important so if you find this helpful benefited from this tutorial please do share with the world and give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and share the video with the world so there you go have fun building your own custom built flexbox grid layout using these techniques and you can manipulate each row and columns by using nth child and like main under the main tag things like that okay so you see the power right it is really amazing so powerful flexbox is raw power is full of magic flexbox is full of magic so there it is we have our beautiful three column grid layout pattern in no time super cool so thank you so much for being here thank you for your time i really appreciate everything i really appreciate the time and 
love and everything i really appreciate it so so there it is thank you so much i will catch you in my next video take care bye